Okay. I believe I'm due some occult power. Nagaraja. According to a loading screen tip. Yes. That's what Pisha is. Yes. This is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. I see. Thank you, I think. I do like accumulating power. Hey, what's... Oh man, I missed this before. I bet I know where this goes. It's that one grate I couldn't open. Handy. Well, I wish I'd seen that earlier. Okay, so... The Odious Chalice. Nice. As long as I murder people, it will fill up with blood. That, uh... I'm not sure that's a magic item, per se. It's just kind of a blood bucket, but uh, it'll probably be useful. So. Blood Pyre... The Bloodlines, Blood Scorade. I've been to the museum, looking for an ancient sarcophagus. There I found only Beckett, the wandering Gangrel scholar, who assures me that the sarcophagus does not contain an antediluvian ancient super vampire, which is good, uh, but it's also been stolen, which is bad. Chunk. Starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Maybe one of them chimps like on that show 8 Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Have you considered a dog like on Commissar Rex? What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Oh my god. Over six. So, seven? That logo. I wonder what LaCroix's front is. Like, uh, what is this building officially? Maybe he doesn't have an official purpose. He's arrogant enough for that. Alright. Let's join the prince in looking out wistfully over the city and pretend that I'm his loyal minion and so on. It is a nice view. I'll give him that. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sound one, and that your decision was a byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Leadership. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. <sighs> okay, nobody likes you, myself included. The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will shot in the pike's full. Now to the matter of the sarcophagus. Do you need assistance bringing it up? <laughs> About the sarcophagus. Stolen? Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat! <laughs> of course, fucking Gary. Gary. The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be 
exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city if it were to fall into the wrong hands. Whose hands are those? The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. I've heard that one before. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Oh my Escort fucking her god. I'm pretty sure it's nines who will bear the brunt of these consequences. God, I've got to go warn them. And then I've got to go to Hollywood. At least he didn't dominate me again. Okay, the sarcophagus. It doesn't matter what's in it at this point. Everybody wants it. And it seems that this Gary of the Nosferatu might have it. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm prepared to find out. Particularly if it involves regaining the trust of LaCroix and uh, selling out his secrets to the Anarchs so that we can stop whatever the hell his plan is. I wonder, I wonder if it would be possible to talk to the other Primogen about him. Strauss was already uh, suspicious of LaCroix. I wouldn't be too surprised if he's willing to do something. Particularly if it turns out that it was his fault Grout's dead. Okay, Damsel needs to know about this, if she doesn't already. Heard anything? It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. Or <laughs> well, maybe Jack will be more interested. Jack seems kind of plugged in, actually. He knows a lot about what's going on. I heard you were down poking around the museum. LaCroix wants that coffin bad. Yes, he does. Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus. It's a wig? Oh my god. I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. Gonna bounce off the suit, you think? You ever hear of the Avery? No, I have not. Well, it's when a vampire drains another more powerful vampire to death. The Avery is the Sabbat specialty. But it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. That makes sense. They're all about protecting power. Remember what I told you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? About who that could be sleeping away in there? The Prince is willing to tear LA apart to find this thing so they can have it. Why? What would a power hungry vampire like Detroit want with a sleeping ancient? I wonder. Yeah, it's a reasonable theory. You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood will make any kids are just about as vulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is gonna think of the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, then it's Menorah it is. Yeah, I guess. Besides, getting the sarcophagus and getting into it is two different things. How do you know that, Jack? Sure thing, kill fire away. You know a lot about a lot of stuff. What's on your mind? And you're not willing to talk about it. Hmm. Skilt is not going to want to talk, not with a blood hunt against nines. Although, if he doesn't know, I should warn him. What the hell did you want? Ah. That's the problem, of course, with a dialogue tree system in an RPG. Sometimes you're like, well, I would like to talk about this person about this topic, but uh, it turns out the game does not accommodate that. Okay. Looks like I'm going far away. All the way. Down in LA. Except I'm going, actually going to Hollywood. But that doesn't go with the song.
going somewhere. Yes. Hey, it's a big circle on the map. You know what that means. Hub level. Ain't seen you here before. If I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. I'm guessing this is the sheriff of Hollywood. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Hmm. So, the local Anarchs, uh... Or, let me see... Yep. Hang on a second. Where to? Holy shit. Okay. He's a vampire. Huh. Well, I guess he's not going anywhere. Jewelry store. But which end of the street? Talky didn't say. Looks like to the other one. Interesting stuff going on here. Some sort of crypt. Club of Vesuvius. Check caching. Aspole Adult Bookshop. I assume. Metalhead Industries. Red Spot. Looks like there's all sorts of stuff going on in Hollywood. Sewers as usual. Alright, this would be it. Let me just scope the place out a little. I'm back way in. There's LA. Sewers. Garbage. Alright. Let's meet the Baron of Hollywood. Doors I see lead to room. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby faced two bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Mm hmm. Nosferatu. So you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind. And asking for my help, of all peoples. Nevertheless, I need that help. Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. I see. You know, as soon as I heard that the Anarchs had barons, I started thinking, maybe they're not 100% different to the Camarilla. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. And what coin do you demand your respect? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. He says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Were you perhaps embraced long enough ago that you don't know how to use computers? Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Hey, uh... Excellent. In the meantime, 
Consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Well, I'll do it. Um, as has become the norm. But... It can't be a very important video, I think. If I am being trusted to pick it up. He'd send one of his own people if he really cared about whether he got it or not. So the Anarch Movement. Independent organisations, but the thing is, they follow basically the same laws as the Camarilla, don't they? I'm all for Nines Rodriguez over Prince Lacroix, for sure, but uh, politically, I don't think the Anarchs have that much of a claim to being better on a large scale. Alright. Looks like it's time to take a Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? I... You know what? Never mind. We have to hey. help you. What? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Ah, oh, shit. Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe he'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. I don't know if... Okay, let's assume that this person really does know me. I don't remember my past, so it's entirely possible. This sucks. I... Did I have friends at one point? Not anymore. It is you! I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see, everybody just Who's... wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here, I I'm gonna make a call. Mm. Stop, stop. Shit. Brain wipe. Oh my god, I've got to get, get out of here. Seems like a very opportune time for a recording break, so Samantha doesn't notice me. Wow. Somebody's old life is missing them. 